I'm actually a fifth generation in the business, and uh, Tim, Joe, and Mike uh, are the sixth generation, so their children, if it perpetuates, will, will be seven. It's pretty unprecedented that you find a continuously owned and operated business that's lasted this long. For six generations, Glockner has been a familiar and well-respected family name in Southern Ohio and Northern Kentucky. That's because for more than 160 colorful years, the Glockner family has operated, among other ventures, a successful hardware store, bicycle shop, and horse-drawn buggy dealership before entering the automotive business, all while being a strong community supporter. It's, it's sad and thought that um, uh, Glockner Chevrolet is, is the oldest uh, continuously run and operated and owned um, Chevrolet store in the country. It all began in 1847 when my great-great-grandfather Bernard uh, emigrated from Bingen-Baden, Germany. He immediately went to work for a um, hardware store. Somewhere in the late 19, 1890s, early 1900s, a gentleman by the name of W.C. Bill um, Durant um, stopped in and he represented a line of horse-drawn buggies. My great-grandfather Alex and his brothers decided you know they would take this line of horse-drawn buggies on. In 1912 that same man, now the founder and CEO of the new General Motors Corporation, returned to ask if they wanted to sell and distribute the new Chevrolet product. Alex Glockner agreed and signed one of the first Chevy franchise agreements. My father's name was Abby, that's a uh, a nickname that was given to him. His name's actually Edward, Edward Leo. And um, he was just a dynamic person. He had a huge influence on me and, and uh, my three boys were fortunate enough that they got to know him. He, he lived to be almost 90 years old, but uh, he was a, a decorated World War II pilot that flew in the South Pacific off aircraft carrier. He really believed in the golden rule. I mean, treat others how you'd expect to be treated. Even when Papa was in his later years, he would walk through the shops and people would just light up. In 1959, Ebby Glockner started Quality Car and Truck Leasing a commercial finance company. Since then, Glockner Finance has financed logging equipment, bulldozers, computers, doctors and office equipment and more. In 1968, Glockner became a Quaker State oil franchise. It grew so quickly it was moved to a building in Pike County and named the Glockner Oil Company. Today it's expanded to warehouses in Columbus and Cincinnati. In 1975, Glockner purchased the Portsmouth Volkswagen Agency and two years later took on the Toyota and Honda lines. In 1982, Ebby retired and Andy became general manager of the GM store, also overseeing the finance company and the oil business. Started out um, actually 45 or 46 years ago as a teenager washing cars and sold cars, went to college, came back, went to work for the dealerships and basically held every position there is. In 1989, Glockner Auto Credit was established. Today, there are seven auto credit locations. In 2013, South Point Ford was purchased, and that's been our newest addition to the company businesses. So here we are in 2015, and uh, the three boys are actually the uh, owners and operators of all these businesses. They're servants to others and to our community. Uh, to our customers and to our employees. And I couldn't be more proud of them. We want to be known as you know, somebody that you can come talk to anytime about anything. My mom tells me that I announced when I was 12 years old that I was going to take over the family business. I, I can't say enough about Tim or Joe. They're, they're my best friends, um, our partners in the business, and, and just great, great people. So. Um, I love them to death and, and proud to work with them every day. In 1912, Glockner Enterprises had 25 employees. Today, 325 employees work at four new car franchise stores, eight independent used car stores, a commercial leasing and credit approval agency, an independent insurance agency, and an oil distribution company. We've been blessed over the years to have some of the most dedicated, loyal, serving um, 
employees and continue today. We wouldn't be where we are without these people. Started when I was 18 years old. Um, I've done everything from sweep the floors in the body shop. Currently, I'm the general manager of Glockner Honda Toyota. I think people enjoy working for us because we treat them like family. We pay them like partners. We develop people. I've been with Glockner's for 44 years. I started here working for the Glockner's when I was 18 years old, and I'm 53 now. I've been with Glockner Chevrolet for 40 years now. We fall in love with people and we keep them forever. They handpicked their, their, um, their management and their employees and, and they back them. They allow you to do your own thing. You know, you're pretty much running the business that they've asked you to do. And um, it just makes it easy to do your job. Look at me, I started as an auto mechanic back in 1980. Um, they educated me. They brought me up through the ranks. We try to create as many possibilities financially and, and just personally for each employee. So, um, you know, the sky's the limit for them on, on what they want to do. And it's about their connection that they have with you as an individual. You're not just another employee. I believe that we've been in business for as long as we have because we've been committed to our community. They are always there to help the local community and um, they support the community and the local schools. The um, prevailing culture is that we are to be of service to others, to other employees, certainly to, uh, to customers, but to be of service inside of our community as well. The customer doesn't owe us, we owe the customer. The community does not owe us anything, we owe the community. They've empowered us to, to really be creative, create value. Uh, it, it makes a good reason to get up and come to work every day. And I always worked with Ebby Glockner. He said, always think of when you loan this person money, you are becoming a partner with that person. And uh, so you want to do everything you can to make that person successful because that in turn will make you successful. We try to uphold moral, moral character within the business and then uh, you know we just try to do the right thing at all times. But all three generations that I've worked with actually work in the business. They're in the trenches with uh, all the different businesses we have and operate. They're continuing off of their grandfathers and their great grandfathers Le uh, you know, legacy of where a handshake means something, and here it means something. Glockner, we make it easy. Glockner's, we make it easy. Making it easy is about as much of being of service to each other inside of Glockner's as it is with making it easy with our clients and, and how they transact business with us. At Glockner's, we make it easy. It's a, it's a piece of cake. They come here and for after 40 minutes, they have all the information they need to make those good decisions. And people continuously say, you make it easy. I say, that's great. I have that painted on the window as you walk in the door. <laughs> Working with uh, Tim, Joe, and Mike, um, to, you know, three totally different personalities. Um, um, again, I've I did the same thing, tried to emulate what my father did with me, which was not influence them. Tried to give them direction, give them uh, guidance. We've got each other's back, and uh, what I'm not good at, Mike and Joe are good at, and, and vice versa. And so it's a great relationship. The reason I guess I I work in the family businesses is because it's it's something to be proud of. Being the sixth generation, um, it's just it's kind of in your blood. It really just seemed right to want to be part of what took our family so long to um, establish here and um, made me feel like this was my place to be. We're here to be caretakers of what's been in essence given to us or what we've helped build, but we have a huge obligation to, to serve others. Today, the Glockner family of dealerships is still driven by Alexander Glockner's philosophy. I have no bargains to offer except in the sense of good goods at reasonable prices and a strong guarantee. 
When you buy from me, you have the assurance that I am right here to make anything right that isn't.